wonderful day to all of you, my brethren, my friends, and all of my relatives, and all of you guys, you are watching today this uh, live stream uh, sharing of the Word of God. At napakabuti po ng Panginoon dahil nga binigyan po tayo uli ng, ng uh, panibagong uh, pagtitipon sa pamamagitan ng ating pong uh, live streaming. So, kumusta na po kayo dyan? I hope and I believe you become stronger, healthy, okay? Even though meron tayong mga iba't ibang nararanasan sa buhay, iba't ibang ating journey, the Lord is so faithful, no? Because His joy is our strength. And hindi po natin namamalayan na nakaka ilang bu- ilang buwan na po tayo no two months and almost 60 plus or coming to 70 or 70 plus if you will be compute everything magmula po na nag-start but one thing is so good hallelujah and god is a good good god who is faithful he preserve us he provide for us he protect us hallelujah his presence is always with us that is His promise to us. So, napakaganda po na makasama namin muli kayo ngayon at mapalakas tayo sa tulong ng banal na Espiritu Santo na suma sa atin at higit sa lahat sa Kanyang salita na nagbibigay sa atin ng panibagong pag-asa at lakas. At kailangan nating marinig to ayon po sa salita ng Diyos. Ang pakikinig at pakikinig at pakikinig ng salita ng Diyos doon dumarating Ang, ang, ang matibay na pananampalataya natin sapagkat doon natin nakikilala kung sino ang Diyos na ito sa pamamagitan ng Kanyang salita. Kaya nga, nagiging matibay po tayo, nagiging malakas tayo dahil po sa Diyos na nagmamahal sa atin at ang Kanyang salita na narinig natin at higit sa lahat, pinaniniwalaan ng bawat sa Naniniwala po ba kayo na ang salita ng Diyos ay kapangyarihan ng Diyos if you believe, you can say Amen. i say Amen for that. Thumbs up ako. Dapagkat ang Diyos natin, Siya lamang po talaga ang nagbibigay sa atin lakas. Sa season natin, the pandemic season, where everything no, ay uh, kasama sa mga uh, na-experience natin lang lahat. Hindi lang po tayo buong mundo. Matindi po ang, ang labanan. The invisible virus. But, but praise be unto God because our God is a powerful God than the virus. Take it by heart. Always remember that our God is so powerful, omnipotent God. He loves us, He protects us, He commits to us, and we will end up flourishing. We will end up this pandemic healthy. Nobody will die. Nobody will be uh, sick in this pandemic because we ourselves are believing God. So, this morning, I would like to uh, uh, share to you the title of the word that God has given to me. And as we have uh, studied, okay, from the first week, second week, third week, tatlo po yun, ang sabi doon ng Panginoon sa atin, he keep us reminding us, para po sa Bible, sabi niya, verily, verily, verily. He was just repeating something that, so that it will uh, stay in our heart. No? Magiging mananatili ito na kung saan marinig natin ng marinig. Una po, the first Sunday, we have to stay strong and finish well. Second Sunday, we have to fight, fight, para po boxing era, fight. Strong and finish well. A good fight of faith. Ibig sabihin, our weapon is the Bible and the Word of God is our power, our bullet for all those doubts, unbelief, discouragement, and anything against the will of God in our life, we can come up and say, Hey, God, hey you, are not, uh, you are not a word from me. The Word of God, the promises of God is my word from God. Anything against the word i cannot accept so you are responsible entry and we have heard about 
the word all is well come on say it again all is well all is well my brother all is well my sister all is well for god is a good good god okay and sabi doon yung pinakamagandang word we will not bow down in any other gods big sabihin hindi tayo yuyuko kaagad sa mga labanan yuyuko at tayo gigib up at tayo bibitaw na at para bang ayaw na natin why the secret that you are not bowing down to other gods because you know the first and foremost the one thing for sure no you will bow down only to the living god who gave us life every day amen and we are not afraid of death because death has no sting wala na po siyang kapangyarihan sabi ng 1 Corinthians chapter 15 where is your sting death sabi niya it was won kaya nga napakahalaga na kung saan uh, hindi natin kinatrakutan ang mga bagay no and we are one thing for sure kailangan natin dito itatak sa atin ang kalooban ng Diyos ang magaganap sa ating buhay after we have we will uh, we will be uh, leaving this earth all the all the purpose and the will of God shall fulfilled in our life so napakahalaga po yan so this time ang ating pong gaaralan uh, your life condition in a new norm ang buhay at bagong buhay natin sa bagong kinalalagyan natin, kinagalawan natin. Okay, sabi nga eh, the old norm is gone. Ano po yun? Yung pong dati nating galaw, dati nating buhay, okay, na wala po tayong mga tiyatawag na distancing, wala po mga kung saan ay binagbabawal. At sabi po doon eh, the old norm is gone. And suddenly, from the beginning of March, the new norm has come. And we were all been uh, quarantined, okay? And being uh, government are not allowing us to do things like, for example, this church, the gathering, the mass gathering, hindi na po pwede. Hindi na rin po pwede yung namatayan ka na kusaan ay kailangan madaling-madali lang. Okay? Hindi yung puro lamay. Okay? Ginagawa po ng iba, naglalamay para ma- mabayaran yung, yung kabaong na papahaba. Pero this time, hindi na po pwede. Sa pag, pagpunta natin sa, sa paglabas natin sa ating mga community, we have the schedule. Wow! You see? We have the schedule. Wednesday and Saturday. Yan po ang ang schedule ng mabiga iba ang dao at pagpunta mo sa supermarket sa palengke oh talagang magsasanitizer ka anything is not allowed uh, to do as the old norm now we have the new norm has come alam ko na undawaan niyo po kasi tayo naman eh araw-araw nararanasan natin but by the way medyo Mahati na natin ang year 2020. It's almost 140 plus okay, days and some remaining days. A half of this, eh, mag-2021 na tayo. But one thing for sure, the Word of God said, I will protect you. I will, you will finish well. You will, feel, you will finish flourishing in this pandemic time. I'll be with you. Wherever you go, I will protect you. Okay? I will give you wisdom to live in this new norm through my word. Kaya nga mahalaga po yung word of God. Okay? So, uh, sabi po dito sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old life is gone Behold, the new has come. Wow! So, sa atin po palang pagtanggap kay, sa salita ng Diyos, paniniwala natin na marinig natin ang salita ng Diyos na si Jesus namatay sa ating mga kasalanan. At naniwala tayo. Ang sabi ng Bible, ang luma nating pagkatao ay wala na. At ito'y bago na. 
sa pagkataot, kawangis at kabanalan at katuwiran at buong puso tayong pinatawad ng Diyos at binigyan ng bagong buhay. We are called a new creation. Kaya nga, kung papansinin po natin, uh, tayo po namang mananampalataya, it's about time to realize that in this new norm of this uh, season, we have the new life in Christ and we have the Word of God we, na sinasabi ng Bible ay eh, the Word of God is the lamp ilaw paritan kaya yung kapampangan lamp unto my, to our feet and the light unto our path ito yung niwanag so napakahalaga na makita natin na kung saan sa mundong ito sa madilim takalalagayan kawawang kalalagayan ng mundong ito we have the Word of God that it will become our lantern or the lamp walking in this world and the light unto our fat. Inunahan tayo ng Lord. Sabi niya, kung nandyan ang Word of God, and it's the brand new feeding of your soul, of your mind, the Word of God will lead you to be victorious, conqueror, and undefeated person of people of God. So, this in the new norm, makikita natin na tayo mga Kristiyano ay mayroon lang tayong dapat makita na kung saan sa ating buhay ay may binago na. Kung may binago sa ating buhay, may bago tayong pag-iisip, pananaw, may bago tayong mga confession sa ating buhay, mayroon din tayong katalinuhan upang lumakad at mag-ingat sa Bawat kilos at galaw ng mundong ito, ng pandemic na ito, ng virus na ito, at ito ito yung tulungan tayo ng salita ng Diyos. Because, ulitin ko ulit, it is the lamp and the light unto our feet. Yung po, familiar po ba kayo sa PPT? Ito po ibig sabihin, Person Protection Training. Okay? Person Personal Protection training PPT 3P at mayroon po isang T person personal protection training kailangan natin po uh, ang panibagong mindset up which is our our target in our mind that we can escape on this uh, virus by having this personal protection training okay na kung saan alam natin na hindi ito makaka makaka tama sa atin when we are not uh, living in the old way of life alam niyo minsan nakikita natin yung mga tao ngayon talagang wala po silang distancing no kahit po ito po ay ina- i- 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 require sa ating pumapang panibagong buhay but hindi tayo sanay so this time, we have the new life in God and we have the Word of God na tayo mas mismo mga Kristiyano is the first and foremost na gagawa ng hakbang at susunod doon sa pamantayan sapagkat alam natin <coughs> na saan, hindi biro ang ating kalaban. Pero marami po ang hindi pa po talaga sanay. Mapapansin natin yung pilahan yung mass gathering talaga po nung ni-release po yung yung uh, ECQ ginawang eh, me, M ECQ okay moderate uh, enhancement community quarantine nako ang mga tao naglabasan at naririnig po natin na mas marami ang namatay sa second wave <laughs> sabi na may mga third wave pa kung matitigas ang ulo but anyway this new norm, we have to have the personal protection training sa ating buhay. Tayo mismo dapat ay matalino na kumikulos every day of our life. Actually, with the attack of the enemy, unknowingly, tayo po ay nag-iingat, tayo po ay gumagawa dun sa alam nating makakabuti sa atin. And you don't really know that there is a virus around you, one thing is for sure, the Lord will protect us. But, 
doing things na alam mo pwede kang mahawa ay eh, hindi mo ito ginagawa at inaabuso mo yung mga pagkakataon na yon dahil hindi ka naging sanay magsanay na po tayo this is our new norm so paring mahawaan ka pero kung ginagawa mo ang lahat ng bagay ayon sa naisin panukala at ikaw ay dumadalangin sa Lord at nagtitiwala sa Lord every day when you go out whenever you go in job in market everywhere you go to your friends relatives you know that you know that you are very protective on your personal uh, uh, personal life no may training ka then you will be guided by our Lord okay and even though the enemy the virus I wants to attack you in that time that you are allowing and obeying and do something na maganda ayon din do sa panibagong pamumuhay natin the lord will protect us he will never leave us nor protect nor forsake us amen wow amen thank you god at ito ay dapat nating maunawaan anyway sabi nga eh sa first john chapter 4 verse 17b As Jesus Christ is, so are we in this world. Ibig sabihin, we learn about Jesus. We learn how He live. We learn how He respond to the situation. Then, we have the Word of God. We have been trained by the Word of God. Then, sabi dito, ng, 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 ng salita ng Diyos sa aklat ng 1 John chapter 5, sabi niya, Who can overcome this world? Okay? God has called us more than conqueror and overcomer. Who will overcome this world? They that have faith in the Son of God. Kaya nga, kasama po yan ang karunungan ng Diyos sa pam- pamumuhay dito, sa pagsasalita, at sa pagsunod, lalo-lalo na po ang ating Panginoon ay very obedient Son of the Living God. And anyway, gusto kong bigyan ng diin, lalo-lalo na po kayo na mga hindi pa nakaka- hindi pa nakaka- Uh, nakapagbigay ng buong trust and belief in the Lord finish, Lord Jesus finished work. Okay? Yung ginawa niya sa cross para sa ating mga kasalanan. In this new norm, this is talagang kailangan-kailangan natin. Ang sabi nga na, 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 ng sinulat to dito, matagal ko itong lagi ko sinasabi, life is short, death is sure, Christ is the cure. Anong ibig po sabihin nito? Ang buhay po natin ay pansamantala lang. Okay? Ma- Maiksi lang po ang buhay na ito. Hindi po ito tumatagal sa mundong ito. Kaya nga, kailangan po natin ang isang um, manlilika, isang Diyos na makapagsasalba uh, sa atin, makapagsisave sa atin, at maisasama tayo doon sa kaluwalatian pagdating ng, ng panahon na tayo po'y wala na sa mundong ito. Because, Life is sure and death is sure, but we have the answer. And Christ is the cure. Kaya nga, in this new norm, tayo po, na mga nakikinig, we have to pray to God for a new heart. Okay? A new life. And how can we have this new heart and new life? Ang sabi po ng Bible, if you believe, In your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ died for our sin. Died for our sins. Okay? And in the third day, He rose from the dead. Believe it in your heart, confess it with your mouth, and you will be saved. Ganun po kasimple. Sa new norm na ito, kailangan natin ingatan. Hindi lang ang ating katawan. We have this, the flesh, The body, the soul, and the spirit. So, ang spirit po natin, mula ng magkaroon po ng unang pagbaksak. Okay? Yung unang-unang tinatawag nating distancing na nangyari sa kasaysayan ng mundo, ng sangkatauhan. Yung po ay dun po sa Genesis chapter 3, na kung saan nadaya po si Adan ni Satanas sa pamamagitan 
na ang ahas na nagsalita sa kanya. At sila po ay bumagsak. They don't obey God. They realize that they were naked and nabuklat po sila. At ang sabi ng Diyos sa kanya, bago po sa chapter 3, kaya mo, binibigay ko sa iyo lahat ng mga puno dito, lahat ng prutas sa garden nito. Huwag lang ang puno na nagbibigay ng bunga ng pagkaalam ng mabuti at masama. At pag ito ay kinain mo, walang pagsalang, ikaw ay mamamatay. Ibig sabihin po nun, death in the spirit. Kaya nga nung nagawa nila yon, you closer God to Adam and Eve, every time nagtotok sila, mga baba, kipag-usap ang Diyos sa kanila, pagdapit hapon, they have fellowship, wala pong muang sa kasalanan. Then it happened, Satan deceived them, and they ate the fruit of knowledge of good and evil. They were open to good and evil. They see themselves naked. Nung araw, wala po silang malisya, wala po silang kasalanan. And that time, you will die, sabi ng Lord. It was the first distancing from men to God. At alam niyo po, napakasakit mawalay sa Panginoon sapagkat mag-struggle ka. Ganun din po ang ating po mga ninuno, si Eva at si Adan. But one thing, God is very, very faithful and very good, good, loving Father. In chapter 3, dun po sa, sa garden, tinatawag niya si Adan, Where are you, Adam? Adam was hiding and then he showed himself. Sabi niya, I was hiding. What happened? What have you done? This woman that you gave me, gave me the fruit, knowledge of good and evil. They ate together with Eve. And they say, we are naked, we are shy to sow. You see, what happened when, when you are in distance with God? You will be alone. Same as well, this time, the pandemic na ito, nakikita natin, para pa nasa ano tayo, nasa bubuhay tayo sa, sa uh, tawag dito, a short period of hell. Maiksing panahon ng impyerno. Because when we are sick, somebody is sick, we will be distanced from one another. Dahil ayaw, ayaw ng mga kamagahan natin, mabibers din tayo. That's what we call the quarantine. You know what? This was happened when somebody died, your relative, your mother, your father died, your relative, your son, daughter. Hindi ka kasi nag-ingat sa norm na ito. Ang mangyayari? May distancing din. Nakakalungkot po. We're just experiencing a little hell in this world. You know what? There will be an answer. We have to pray for a new life, new heart, believing Jesus Christ. It is the only way that you can receive that new life. Okay? Kaya nga sabi ng Roma, Sin abound, but grace abounded much more. Nung kamali si Adan, pumasok ang kasalanan, kabayar ng kasalanan na kamatayan, subalit si Jesus ay dumating, inubos tayo sa krus ng kalbano. And sabi niya, He, he offered life, everlasting life, abundant life. Okay? Life in the full, yun po ang offer niya. Kaya nga, kau kapatid, tayo po na mga Kristiyano, share with our relatives. Ang importante ngayon yung ating spirit will be go back and connect again with God. Kaya nga, if you believe Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will come, we will be connected once again to the grace of God sa ating Panginoon. Para po yung ilaw, buhay natin, kung saan, pag tayo ay Pinutulan ng ilaw, ma- madilim. Pero, kailangan natin magbayad. Jesus paid in pool. That's why meron po liwanag. Ang nakakalungkod lang, dahil nga sa maling turo, ang ilan po ay nasasabi, ito, ang paraan, ito ang paraan, dito ang paraan, dito ang paraan. No, there's only one paraan, one way.
to be saved. Believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Yan po ang sabi ng John 3.16. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is eternal life, sabi niya po sa John chapter 17, that they may know you, my Father, through Jesus Christ. So, we have to believe, to know our Lord Jesus Christ so that we can receive a new heart, a new life, and when time comes, we will uh, be with God, then death was cured, disease was cured because Jesus died and He rose from the dead and He is the way, the truth, and the life. So, Today, if you are here, first time mo, simply lang po, bago natin ituloy ito, I just want to ask you to bow your head and close your eyes and say this prayer, Jesus, thank you. Jesus, thank you for dying for my sin. For all of my sins that I have done. Today, I believe you. I know my soul, my spirit is so important to you. So I believe you today that you are the only way, the truth, and the life. I come before you right now and say, Jesus, you are my Lord. Thank you for dying for my sins. And thank you, Lord God. Today, I receive you in Jesus' name. Amen. So, second na atin pong gawin sa new norm na ito, una po, we have to decide to be assured anything, anytime. Sabi nga nga, death is sure, life is short, death is sure, but Christ is the cure. And when you pray that prayer, yes, you are saved by what you confess and what you believe in your heart. God knows it. And I did it before, 1988, and I am so, so, Assured right now up to now, 2020, that the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who can save me and protect me for all days of my life. So, second, sa ating pong bagong new norm natin ngayon, we have to be, uh, to, to have this new mindset up. Ibig sabihin, when you have the Lord Jesus Christ, Sabi doon, the old is gone, the new has come. You, uh, you are, we are called the new creation, a new creation. So a new creation must be uh, trained, must, be, uh, must have the knowledge and the understanding of who he is as being forgiven, called as the children of God, through the Word of God. Kaya nga, there will be a renewing of our mind through the power of the Word of God. Kaya nga, patuloy po, dito po sa ating pong, uh, uh, YouTube channel or natawag nating uh, live stream, meron po tayong YouTube channel, Center Point Church Philippines. Makikita nyo lahat doon. Yung mga nagpe-pray everyday. Meron po tayong devotion everyday up to Friday. And Sunday, we have the preaching any uh, any prayer that you want to be prayed sa amin, padala nyo lang po dyan. Ito po ginagawa natin so that the Word of God is always be heard. Okay? But that give us renewing of our mind through the power of the Word of God. So, okay? This is what we call mind in a new norm. Okay? As I said, we have the mind of Christ. Jesus came to this world to respond not the language of this world but the language of his kingdom so let us learn to do likewise through our knowledge and understanding and revelation of the power of the word of god that renewed our mind by meditating the gospel of christ kaya nga sabi po ng 1 corinthians 120 all the promises of god in christ through christ is yes, and we can say, Amen. Pwede nating angkinin. So, isang bagay ang mangyayari sa atin, we have, we got a new norm, 
So we need to decide a new life, receiving Christ, and a new mind. Okay? New mind that renewed in the Word of God, that, that can speak life over the situation. Simple lang po ang gusto ng Diyos. Malaman natin yung kanyang lengwahe sa mga nangyayaring season sa buhay natin. Meron tayong discouragement, meron tayong problema, meron tayong trials, many things that happen, o ano man yung nararanasan natin ngayon, we still stand up and say the word of God. God, thank you that you all say, you always protect us. You are, you are my dwelling place. You are my hiding place. You always protect us. You always care for us. You provide for us. That is the new mind that we have been uh, trained to speak the new word to our mouth. Amen? Kaya nga, napakahalaga po na uh, ang simpleng mensaheng ito sa mundong ito, na kung saan yung pong kaligtasan, okay? Tapos po, yung pong pamumuhay natin, na kung saan we have to combat yung pong mga challenges of life by the power of God, by renewing of our mind through the Word of God. And then, when we have all the knowledge and understanding of this Word, then it is our Word now. It is the language that we are using like Jesus. Then we, when Jesus was with His disciple, once again, nagkaroon ng typhoon, but Jesus said, Peace be still. Okay? And, yung disciple niya na mayroon po lumapit na na hindi nila mapagaling, hindi nila mapapalayas yung demonyo, then Jesus showed them how this power of speaking to the enemy and the enemy is bowing down and uh, requesting to go. No? You see, this is Jesus that we serve. This is Jesus that in our heart, in our uh, mind, that God who did something, greater things, iniwan sa atin itong mga example na ito. That's why we need to speak the language of God through this norm, new norm, na meron tayo ngayon. In the new norm of this world, we have the new creation, which is Christ in us, Christ through us, Christ for us, Christ with us. Everything is, will be okay. So, I know na tayo po nakakaranas, but we need to have the power of God. We have to meditate the power of God, to speak the word of God. And so those that first timer, we need to decide to have a new life in believing and receiving Jesus Christ. Once again, thank you to our Father God that we have this kind of fellowship. And I do believe, sang araw, may babalik na rin ito. Kakaroon na rin tayo ng fellowship. At uh, uh, maganda po ang mangyayari pa sa hinaharap. It, this this uh, world will not end up uh, worse. We will end up in such, a time, in such a time that we will see much more glory of God, much more experience the goodness of God in our life. Our children will be blessed, mighty in the land. Wealth and riches will be in our house. God said it in Book of Psalm. So, we're thinking about our, our children. We are just praying for them. Praying. We as parents, we are praying. Our grandchildren. No, this pandemic cannot go uh, longer because these children, this generation has, has a future. And we are declaring their great future. Nothing can stop to the great plan of God towards our loved ones. That's the way we fight. That's the way we live in this new norm. Okay? We are living wisely, doing our personal protection, training life, and God is with us. He will always protect us and Always share to us His blessing every day of our lives. Good morning sa lahat sa inyo, mga kaibigan, kapatid. I just want to pray for you right now. Let's bow our head and I speak to you blessing right now. Father, to those 
listening right now, viewing this wonderful time and hearing the powerful word of God, I pray, O oh God, that you encourage them, strengthen them. This is not the end of their life. They were going to stay strong, fight strong, never bowing down to other gods. And they will speak all is well in any situation because you are with us. Thank you, Lord. I pray that you will, Lord, enlighten them because your word is the lamp and the light of our path. And I pray those right now, mga kapatira na, in times of crisis, in times of uh, closing door of businesses, this is not for a long period. Lord, you are our God and you will open everything and double it, the blessing that has been, Lord God, uh, uh, lost to God. In the name of Jesus. And I pray, Father God, all our grandchildren, children are blessed and mighty in the land. And they will experience to be your vessel preaching to their generation. This is what we believe, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And every person right now, every family, every Christian right now is, who is watching and listening, I speak the blessing of God towards your life. I declare and calling things that are not as though they were in your life. We will finish stronger, greater in this pandemic because Jesus is greater than this crisis. In the name of Jesus, we will, we will go out, furnished, strong, and greater than before. Thank you, Lord. Nobody will die on this pandemic time. We will be protected by you, O God, and we will be, we'll, we have the wisdom to live accordingly to the new norm. Lord, thank you so much. We bless you. We honor you. And we thank you and we pray for all the pastors, leaders, leaders of our country and the solution that those scientists will discover the new urgent answer for the virus. Lord Jesus, thank you so much. We give you praise. We give you glory, give you honor, in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, Paul. Once again, see you next week. God bless you.